What's up, drummer friends? Derek here with another little video lesson for you. DVD's kind of on the back burner right now due to some health issues kind of out of my hands, but you didn't tune in to hear that. You tune in to hear about hopefully to have some fun and learn something. And in this video, we're going to talk about something pretty cool, a nice little interesting topic that I enjoy and a lot of drummers enjoy, odd time signatures. Now, first thing we got to ask, what the heck is an odd time signature? Okay, first off, let's remove the word odd. Okay, let's just take let's just take a look at time signature. We all want to know what a time signature is. It's those two numbers at the beginning of a piece of music. You, usually it's four and four. Sometimes it can be three, four, six, eight, or it, it can be any number of things. It's just a fraction. And what that time signature does is it establishes two things. First, the top number establishes the number of beats in the measure. Okay, the bottom number establishes how those beats are counted. Therefore, if you take a basic time signature of four four. The top number is 4, therefore we have 4 beats in the measure. The bottom number is a 4, meaning quarter note. Okay, so we have, in total, 4 quarter notes in this measure. That's all a time signature says, that's what it defines the time, the pulse, and how many counts are in each measure for the entire piece or until the time signature changes. Now, for example, let's take 3-4. Okay, so another common one that you will see. 3-4, all we're going to do is take one of those quarter notes away, right? We, on the top we have three, three, three notes. On the bottom is four still quarter notes. Therefore, in this measure we have three quarter notes and that makes the whole measure. That's what time signatures are. Now, when we get into odd time signatures, there can be a lot of semantic debate over what is and what isn't an odd time signature. And I, and I try to avoid those kinds of arguments. It kind of reminds me of like high school relationships. Remember when we were back in high school and you know, you, were, you, you liked a girl or you, or you liked a guy and, you know, you didn't know how to ask her out, but you finally did, but you didn't know what to call the relationship. It was like, are we going out? Are we going steady? Are we dating? Are we going together? Are we doing this? Are we what? You, you, what, what label do you put on it? And, and, and the whole thing is, who cares? If you want to be with the person, just be with them, right? That's the whole idea. And that's how I look at odd time signatures. It's, it doesn't really matter what you call it, if it is an odd time signature, if it isn't an odd time signature. As Juliet said to Romeo, what's in a name? A rose by any other name still smells just as sweet, right? So, I mean, when you're playing, don't focus on, okay, I am now in an odd time signature. Oh, yes, odd, odd. No, don't, don't do that. It's counterproductive, and I'll show you ways to break it down to make it a lot more simple. All right. Another good question to ask is why use odd time signatures at all? I mean, most of the songs you've ever heard are just good old two and four, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That fits 99% of all the songs ever written. So why should you use an odd time signature? Well, there are some reasons you might want to use one. For example, why, why did I hit a tom just there? Why did I hit my splash cymbal just there? Why did I open my hi-hat and get that little sound? Why did I do that? To change or alter the sound of the music being played. And that is exactly why we use odd time signatures. To change the flow, to change the meter of what's being played, to make it sound different. And there's, there's different ways to do it. There's ways to approach it, things like that. Um, take a band like Dream Theater, okay? Most drummers know who Dream Theater are. and most drummers know that Dream Theater is known for their progressive elements and the time signatures. There, there are many times that Dream Theater has these passages of just extreme odd time signatureness, in-your-face craziness, but they're also able to lay back, okay, and play in four, and even throw in little odd time signatures that you don't even realize are there. And to me, that is the true use of odd time signatures. They shouldn't jump, really jump out at you and make you, and go, hey, I'm an odd time signature. You know, they shouldn't really do that. They should still fit within the music just as that tom hit or that splash cymbal hit. It, it all must fit within the song, okay? Now, on the other end of the spectrum, take a song like Subdivisions by Rush, okay? If you've never heard that song, check that out. Listen to the first 15 seconds of that song, and you'll know within a sh beyond a shadow of a doubt that Getty Alex and Neil wanted you to know that that song was in seven. I mean, just... <laughs> what, what else were they thinking? I don't know. So, there's a lot of different ways to look at it, and the ultimate goal here, 
when we're talking about odd time signatures and when practicing odd time signatures, the ultimate goal is to become as comfortable as possible in any time signature, whether you're counting in 9, 11, 13, 7, 5, whether you're counting in all these weird numbers, you want it to be just as comfortable as if you were playing in 4. I mean, all of us drummers can just close our eyes lay, and lay back in 4 and just, and just groove on top of 4. But how many of you can do that in 2116? Not too many. I, I can't. <laughs> Unless I really sat there and went, what are you going to do? You know, you, know, you know what I mean. So you want to become proficient and comfortable with these odd time signatures so that when you're counting them and when you're playing them in the song, it flows just as naturally as if it were in four. Okay, now before we actually get into the teaching aspect of this video, I want to make a statement that might offend some people, but I don't care because it's my video, so I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, and what I want to say is odd time signatures or any time signature has absolutely nothing to do with what you play. I'll say it again. Odd time signatures or any time signature has nothing to do with what you play. They have everything to do with how you count, how you think. A time signature by itself is nothing more than a specified way of counting a musical passage. That's all it is. That's all it is. Nothing else. Okay? If you see a time signature, that does not dictate in any way, shape, or form what you must play. It only dictates how you are going to count what you are about to play. Okay? So, that being said, let's take a look at some of these weird time signatures and break them down and I'll show you that odd times are fun, easy, and gosh darn it, we can all do it. All right, we're gonna start off with a real simple one, okay? Five, four. This one's pretty self-explanatory. We have five on the top, four on the bottom. Five notes to the measure, count it as quarter notes, five quarter notes. So therefore we count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's all it is, that's all there is to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play a little tiny bit, some really easy stuff, okay? But the emphasis here, remember, is on the counting. Okay, so I want you to count along with me, all right? One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, and you get the idea. Just kind of just add we're really just adding a quarter note there. Instead of playing it four, we're just adding an extra one, making it five four. And that's how most of those um, the four numbered ones, that's what I call them, the four numbered, with four on the bottom, those are pretty much the easiest ones to count because you're just counting the quarter note. The quarter note pulse never changes. It's just how many quarter notes are we counting? Are we counting one, two, three, one, two, three? Therefore, three, four, or are we counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven quarter notes equals seven, four. You got it. Okay, next, let's talk about 13, eight. 13 on top, eight on bottom. Now, this one might be a little bit more challenging than five, four, but not for the reason you might initially expect. Most people are going to look at this and say, bigger number on top. Oh, no, more challenging. Not really. That can be broken down. I'll show you that in a second. What might make this more challenging is actually the bottom number, the eight. We have 13 notes in this measure, okay, but we're counting them as eighth notes. This is extremely important. The bottom number is just as important as the top one. If my quarter note pulse is here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then obviously my eighth note pulse is going to be twice as fast. One and two and three and four, right? Okay, so now I need 13 of these to make a measure of 13 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1. Okay, that was a measure of 13 8. Now, when I'm playing in 13 8, am I going to sit there and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1? No, probably not. It's redundant and it's boring and it's, it's confusing. But there are many, 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 many ways 13 can be broken down into easier, more understandable. Uh, what's the word? Factors. Okay, whatever. 
like 7 plus 6 equals 13. 5 plus 5 plus 3 equals 13. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 5 equals 13. My math is terrible. Uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 equals 13. Let's work on that one. Uh, we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. That is a very simple way of counting 13, 8, and we're not going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 21, 22, Whatever, we're just going 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 
16, 21, yeah. So four, 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 and five. Let's try that one now, since that one's given me a little bit of a brain fart. But as you can see, every group of four 16th notes equals what? One quarter note, okay? This is another shortcut that we can use in our play. So if we're going four, 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 five, okay, let's think of four quarter notes and then adding on five sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one. Twelve raised to twenty-one sixteen, okay? And again, that process can be applied no matter what subdivision or what factored number grouping you break it down into. That's entirely up to you. So let's check out this four, 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 five. Four, 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 five. Yeah. I'll get it right one of these days. Let's do something like, um, you, let's just use paradiddles. There was that five. One, two, three, da, da. Right, left, right, right, left. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, and there's my 21 16th notes. And I'm not counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 I'm simply counting fours and a five, and that makes it infinitely easier, doesn't it? And it can be broken down into even more ways. Okay, let's take let's take seven seven seven. Um, ba, 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 boom! That would be twenty one sixteen. Three bars of seven sixteen crunched together. Okay, so again, that's a lot easier than counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty 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 I know that that was 2116. I know for a fact that that was 2116. How do I know? Because I simply put three groupings of seven together. Three times seven is 21. Okay, it's a mathematical process of breaking these numbers down into chewable bite-sized pieces that you can understand when you count. And when your counting becomes easier and more efficient, guess what happens? Your playing becomes more efficient. And that is the whole reason of this system. So now, when you see it on a time signature, I want you to stop and say, this is on top, this is on bottom. We have this many notes in the measure, this is how it's counted, whether it be quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. And take that top number, see if you can break it down. I mean, if it's, an, if it's like 3-8 or 5-16, then you, know, you don't really need to break it down that much. But what if it's 31-16? Oh my God, okay, but, but again, the same, exact same process can apply. 3116, uh, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6. Is that 31? I think so. Any, any number can be broken down into smaller parts, making it easier for you to count, making it easier for you to play.